All right, guys, welcome back to the Frugal Homestead. So today we're checking out the Griva 8K Android TV box. Now, this was sent to us just to check out and test. I have to say that the specs on this, as it comes with multiple different size specs, this one's a four gig of RAM, 64 gig of ROM, which means this is a powerhouse. Now, they do have an 8 gig, 128 gig, which would be insane. Now, these Android TV boxes get overlooked. And the reason why I want to talk to you guys about this is because this is one of the way we get a lot of our free TV. But also, it can be used for a lot of other things that might save you from buying another device. Now, let's go ahead and go over the specs here. This is Wi-Fi 6 certified, so that's going to be amazing to have quality Wi-Fi throughout your house being able to get to this box in case you don't have a wired land landline. So the CPU is an RK3528. It's a decent CPU. And then we do have 3.0 USB support. Now this does have Bluetooth and multiple other features integrated in. But I think the AK 8K is a little bit suspect. I'm going to push it pretty hard on 4K and we're going to see what it can do. But Generally speaking, decent clean packaging, and I think the look is pretty decent. So let's open her up here. All right, so you got your basic box right off the bat. That's kind of satisfying. So you got your box, you've got plenty of venting for as small as a component as this is. Now you can see right there, 4 and 64G, so you know that the box that's in the box is the correct model. Turn it around, we got our power supply, HDMI, LAN, audio visual out, mini SD card, I will explain why this is important later, a 3.0 USB port and a standard USB port. This is another reason why Android boxes are superior to other devices because they have USB support and a lot better Bluetooth support. So let's go ahead and see what else is in the box here. We got a power supply, basic power brick. I will say that no matter what, this is actually pretty good. Most of these are super short. This one's just a bit longer. We got an HDMI cable. We got some directions. And then we got a remote. Now, the first thing I wanna say about this remote is, this is far upgraded from anything you guys have probably seen with Android boxes if you've owned one before. It's got a Netflix and YouTube button here to directly take you to it, a home, a back button, menu, now I believe if you hold this down, you can switch it over to a mouse function, but we won't need that because I'm gonna show you how to hook up a keyboard and mouse to it. So you have the controls for the TV, the controls for the box, to turn the power on and off, your function button, and also up, down, left, right on your keypad, and this keypad. Now, what I wanna to talk to you about though, about this though, that is the old T95 box. All right, this remote, any of you know they work, but they're very clunky. Look at how much more streamlined and clean this is and how many more functions that are easy to find. It's a high quality upgrade compared to this. Now this one does not come with the batteries, but it does have directions. Now, remotes aside, this is the Grevia box. This is a Mi box, okay? This is the original Mi box, and it still works well today, but it also is still almost $85 today. This is an ONN TV box. As you notice, it has power and HDMI, nothing else. No USB features. So this is a good product, but grossly underpowered compared to this and it can't do what this can do. And this is the T95X. Now this is completely underpowered compared to this, 
but it does have USB support even though it's only 2.0. Now, they both have SD card support, which is important. And what I think is that a lot of people have more devices than they actually need because you'd be amazed at what these Android boxes can do. So let's go ahead and get it hooked up and I'll walk you through all the different things that this box can do. All right, guys. So what I want to show you first is if you look right here on the side of the box, I've got my USB dongle to control my mouse and keyboard through Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and set this box up. Now, we're going to go here. And we've got English and multiple different, but we want the United States. And then we're screen zoom. We're going to keep it where it is. And we're going to go to guest. And I'm not big on using that keyboard, so we'll do it with the hand keyboard. Okay, so it is now connected. And then we got the launcher here. North America, confirm. Terms of service. Close that. All right, so as you can see, this is our launcher screen now the remote does work fine I'm just I like to use my keyboard and mouse it makes it easier for me but you got home you got movies TV shows apps it's basically a lot like Google TV or some of your smart TVs you'd be used to they have an app store here that you can go get anything you want now we'll go in the settings here and if you've used google tv you'll know what this is or a basic android tv all right so we are running android tv os version 13 baseband versions unknown which is pretty normal for their own setup you got your OS build, kernel version. It's got the latest security patch level. So, as you can see, you can get all your normal box stuff that you would want. Your YouTube, your Netflix, Prime Video, Plex, all those. So you can change your ad options and all that. Now, we go to their app store, and you can just pick what you want to bring in. I don't use any of these, so we're going to, first we need YouTube, obviously. And this thing's peppy, guys. Look at this thing take off. I mean, when you're changing screens, you can tell the difference of an upgraded box versus one of these little cheap guys because these guys take forever to change screens and do anything so we'll get YouTube downloaded here okay let's open her up first time opening almost always slow all right now let's see right off the bat we're gonna do search we're gonna go We're going to go to us. So here's a popular one I got. All right, here we go. Let's go to settings here. Auto 1080. So the max this one's doing is 1080. All right, guys. Welcome back to Fergal Homestead. So today. 
So is there anything else? Let's see here. So is 1080R max? That's the million dollar question. Nope, there's 1440. And do you see it plays without any issue? I'm going to stop it here. And we'll go back. And we'll play it. How I disinfect slash bleach a well. Now, everybody's going to do this different. All I'm doing so 1440 is plays fine. Take it for whatever you want. However you want to do it. I'm going to give you the fast and dirty method. All right. So we're going to go here and clear that and put in 4K nature. So 4K on my internet when it's on Wi-Fi will take a moment and stutter and then it'll play. So let's see how it does. So that's playing really well. No issues as you can see. So when I go like this and stop it. So with my internet it usually takes a minute or two to take off when it's on Wi-Fi. If you're going to be watching 4K video on this, you're probably going to have to look hook it up through LAN and actually wire the internet into it. But it's looking like as long as it's not HDR, it'll play 4K without much issue. I mean, that looks really good. I got no complaints. So with that said, we know it can do 4K. Let's get out of this. We will get completely out. And then we need to find out. Go to the App Store. Now we're going to search. for Pluto one of my favorite apps to watch free TV on there it is now we download it now since I don't want copyright violations we are going to go ahead and mute the TV and then I will have to blur so that I don't get copyright stuff Now that we're in the guide in Pluto here, you can either go there or you can just go down. I think a lot of people don't understand how powerful Pluto is because you can go to movies. And you got a soldier story, Indiana Jones, Equilibrium, School of Rock, Eight Men Out, The Adventures of Tintin, Tin, A Little Bit of Heaven, Collateral, The Reading, The Haunting of Connecticut, Hurricane Season, just so much stuff. For everything you could possibly want. John Grisham's The Grain Maker. The High and Mighty. Billy the Kid. G.I. Blues. Mimic 2. The Big Boss. 
And you can go down here if you want to do holiday. Look at all the holiday stuff. Let's check out festive fireplace. So it's switching it up. Look at that. Looks good. So Pluto works just fine. So we just back all the way out of it. And as you can see, for TV, this box can do everything you would want and it does it faster than some of these cheaper ones. But that's not all. Let me show you some other things we can do. Okay, so now we're out on the home screen here. And I just want you to see that you can get any of the apps you need on this box. All right. But we go down to our toolbox here. Click there on Chrome. Chrome opens up. Now you have the ability to have a computer in your hands. That's why I like the keyboard and the mouse. Now I have a keyboard in my living room that has a mouse built in. But you essentially can do away with your computer for most tasks. And people say, well, no, I can't. Google gives you the ability to do everything that you can do pretty much in Office and Sheets. They have a whole hemisphere, a whole atmosphere of products that you can do everything online. But most of us don't get online to do anything super intensive. You know, we might want to go check social media, check scores, shop on Amazon, mess around on YouTube, go to eBay. You know, these are the normal things. And this thing's pretty peppy, I'll be honest with you. If we go, let's say we're going to go to eBay. I mean, that loads up pretty quick. Put that against your computer. You know, and you can just search and do your thing. Do we want to go to electronics? You know, it pops right up. The reality is, is now you have essentially a computer and it does have USB on the box. So if you needed to upload something or something like that for email, you can just plug a stick in or just plug your phone into the side of it and move the information. Now, you got that. So basically it's a computer. It's also a streaming box. Also, unlike a lot of these other things like smart TVs or these boxes, you can plug videos that are on like SD cards or on USB sticks in there or pictures and be able to use it like that. So you could play pictures through VLC out there in the toolbox. So if we go all the way out and then roll down, there's the FX and then you can go and get VLC media player or any others like right there's VLC for you and it'll play whatever you want it also has a cleaner app built in so it's pretty easy now you'll see air screen here and we'll talk about that more later but next I want you to understand that you can sideload stuff on this so for example if you were to go over to Chrome we could just look up an APK that we want to put on this box and side load it ourselves. Much like you do if you want to use some gray area content um, or maybe wanted to watch some sports through an app that is not covered by their store. Or like we're going to do, we're going to do cap cut APK. So go to cap cut okay now we're in chrome's download and we're going to clip on the cap cut apk and we're going to install it so what i want to show you here is you can use this box to edit videos and i think that's a pretty powerful tool because try this on this it'll never happen or on this box never happen all right so as you can see we're inside cap cut now you can go through and pick a template whatever you want and make videos this is just one basic you could use kind master if you were looking for a different style 
but all of these will work because you have the horsepower under the hood with the Grevia. So, you know, four and 64 is plenty to mess around with content and the box is plenty powerful enough to do 4k content. Now, most times it's almost pointless to do 4k content. Um, if you're going to be putting it on like Instagram or something like that, but plenty of options here. And yes, you can edit on this box. So now we know that we can stream on it. We can edit videos on it. We can play our videos and stuff from SD cards and USB. We can get online and use it like a computer, but that's not all. All right, guys. So another fun thing you can do is you can game on these boxes. Now, everybody's going to have a different way of doing it. I like these Defender 2 and older retro style games, maybe things that are not so intensive. But you can play Minecraft and other stuff on here. Anything you can play on Android, you can play on here. So, you know, you just sit there and can hang out and have fun. You know, it's... It's not a real intensive game, but there is others and it can do more. I'm just showing you that it's possible. Wow. But I'm obviously not real good at this one. <laughs> Pretty simple. There's no lag. It's just doing it. You got plenty of RAM to play this game. I'll be honest with you, this is probably one of the most fun things you can do on this box is just play games because it doesn't, it's not real intensive, but you don't have to think about it a lot either. So play a little bit of the game, have a little bit of fun. And we cleared the level. Yay. But there's still more this thing can do. All right, guys. So. Another thing you can do is go down here to the toolbox and you see air screen download. You can cast your phone or your other devices to this box if you wanted to. But I think we've pretty much shown that this box is way more than just a little streaming box like these little cheap ones. I mean, you're not going to get what you can do with this out of this. I mean, you can connect it and use the FX file explorer and watch your videos and movies off of your other devices. You can actually physically connect to it. You can edit video. You can play video games. I mean, and sit around and game on it. You can stream on it, whether it be with Cody, Pluto, any other thing, watch YouTube videos. Now, you can get into the app store. You can go get any of these apps if that's what you like. I mean, the opportunities are endless with these boxes, but if you wanted to even, you could go down here at Toolbox, go to Chrome, and inside Chrome be able to turn right around and do anything you want to do. I mean, if you want to go get on social media, go get on social media. Do you want to go, you know, go to a website? I mean, there's so many options. You can use it like a computer with Google Sheets and all the other things they have on these things now. You can use it and do everything you can with a computer. You can even do your taxes on this. I would say that this product is far outweighing its competitors. And then if you go in to Amazon, which I will put links to all this stuff down in the description box, but look at the price point guys. I'll let it pull up here just so you guys can see. So the box we're using right now is 50 bucks. All right. The four gig, 32 gig of ROM, like the one that has half the actual storage inside there, which is probably all you really need. I would spend the extra money for the bigger one, but the four gigs of RAM is the priority. It's 37.99, 38 bucks guys. And you're getting double what you get out of these cheap devices. And don't even get me started on the fact that this little Roku device has zero helpfulness to do any of these things other than stream and cost the same amount. All right. So which device do you want this, which everybody claims is so easy to use or this device that has all the opportunities to use it in all these other ways. I think it's a pretty simple solution is to get one of these, get yourself a wireless keyboard and mouse combo to go with it. So you can sit back on your couch, control your TV and have total control and multiple devices in one.
And with that said, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? Go down, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you see all of our upcoming videos. Give us a like. Let us know in the comments, do you stream with a device and what do you use? And do you have a device that you can do all these things on in one that came in at this price point? Because I'm very interested to hear what you guys say. And with that said, I will see you in the next one.